like we're live. And let's see what happens. Looks like everybody's still asleep. Anybody out there? And we've got one person. It took less than a minute. Let's see what happens. chat's not working. Ah, here we go. Hello, Mark. I was wondering then for a second if this stream was even working. Okay. I'm just going to wait another minute or so, take a drink while I can. Uh, hey, MacVision 3D from Ireland. What part of Ireland are you from? Mark, I was just reading about expat life in China. Yeah, actually, that would be interesting. I mean, it's a massive difference in culture and language. I mean, at least when I went around the different places, it was always European style uh, lifestyles and languages. Oh, well, I'll get into it anyway. Um, I'm just cleaning up the uh, s storeroom, which is about a three by four meter room that's full of absolute crap. And I'm just sort of picking through the crap, trying to find, see if anything is functional. So I'll pick this one up. It's a, uh, oh, okay, I thought it was a C665. It's actually an L650. It seems like I was uh, smart enough to leave a RAM module in there. So Sligo, Sligo, I'm not sure how to pronounce that, sorry, MacVision. Hey, Greg M. Okay, let's put my proper system control up there. That's for my open broadcaster. Uh, to be honest, I'm not sure where this one's come from. This has been sitting around for a while. I've got I've got moth poop on the screen. Lovely, very lovely. The keyboard, great. Now think about it. Yuck. Yeah, the keyboard looks like it's got remnants of some sort of baby puke. Yeah, that's great. And since I just touched it, I better go wash my hands and I'll come back with gloves.
Oh, sorry about that. I still haven't got my gloves on. I've got to find the box. Oh, here we go. Looks like I've almost run out. I've got to learn to put these on before I start streaming. I would survive anywhere in Europe, but in China you have to watch your mouth if you don't want to go to jail. Uh, yeah, it certainly pays to uh, learn what you can and can't do as much as you can. Let's see. Tyler Clover. Who's been singing? It's raining cats and dogs and elephants. <laughs> <laughs> oh, speaking of which, uh, can someone just confirm for me, I am going to try a keyboard mute and see if that works. I've been trying to program in some open broadcaster settings, like I should be able to switch systems. Good, good, that's good. Now, I should have Control-Alt-M. Now, the question is, is my voice coming through? Did that mute me? You tell me. You might. It's, you control me if you like, but uh, I'll find out eventually. Nine degrees here in Winnipeg, Canada. Totally overcast. Supposed to get up mid twenties later in the week. That's about similar weather to what we're getting here, Greg. Uh, though we're sitting on about fourteen degrees at night. All right. No, this uh, this laptop already has the hard drive extracted. And it looks like it's a caddy type of tray, but fortunately it's a fairly distinctive one. I know the sort that this has in it, so I should be able to find it somewhere floating around in my workshop. Looks like we have some kind of a JTAG connector there. I really don't know if it's that, I've just sort of been silly. Uh, There's 2 gigs of RAM, oh that's hopeless. Uh, let's see if this thing even fires up. I'm not even going to bother cleaning it. I mean, what would be the point if it's dodgy anyway? Ah. I bought these new 16 gigabyte SanDisk uh, convertible type sticks so they can go down to micro USB. So good for Android phones and things. But to be honest, I'm finding them a bit of a pain for the PC work. Although the only reasonably priced USB 3 ones I could get at the time. Uh, let's see how we go. Power up. Show me power. Then we've got a backlight. Boots. Let's see if it goes into Linux. No, it's going into Ubuntu. It's an i3. I don't know what sort of i3 it is. Hello, plumbing. Plantelive. Plumbing Plantelive. Is that Indian by any chance? My apologies if it's not. Have I lost my Ubuntu? Hello? Did I press something? Did it shut off? I was too busy looking at the chat and I didn't watch the screen. Keyboard seems to work. Device creation boot. I don't suppose anyone saw what happened when I was looking away. No oh, beats this time. Hi everyone, Paul Daniels here. Oh, good one. Hi hi two one seven. Mute button does not work, by the way, Paul. Thank you, Greg. I appreciate that. I'll have to see what's going on with that. I mean, I've still got my mute switch on the headset, but as I understand it's not a 100% mute. Uh, 
Oh, right, and ZX841, you told me to. All right. Yeah, the problem I find with these sanders things as well is if you push them in just a fraction too hard, it causes them to... Or if you've got a USB slot that's a bit firm, they sort of slide back before it's all the way in. So I, I think next time... I'll look out for when some more reasonable ones are on special. Uh, I would like to see all USB sticks getting a physical right protect again, stops nasty virus damage. I completely agree. I really wish that would happen. I yeah. I mean, can you even get such a thing? Obviously, I suppose if you got yourself a uh, USB to SD converter, then you've got the right tab protect on the SD, but I don't know if that would apply. Uh, yeah, but I agree with you, that is something I wish they did have. Particularly when I'm doing a lot of this sort of thing and I'm going between machines. I mean, it's highly unlikely that I'll get a virus jumping onto the Ubuntu stick, but you never know. You just never know. Well, I don't know why this shut down on me before. I've Typically, I wasn't looking, so P sensor. And I'm showing reasonable 45, yeah. And this is sitting on a piece of foam. So that's alright. Now, I wonder what. I get paranoid with these situations because you sort of think, why would I have. A perfectly working laptop just sitting rotting in the workshop room and it doesn't make sense I'm paranoid Let's see if the keyboard works fully because this I would say that the hard drive had failed so the customer gave it to me uh, wrong keyboard A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y Z. That all seems to work. Space. Left and right work. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yep. 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 In spite of the baby puke, it does appear to be working. That works. Hmm. I'm not sure. I mean, I don't know if it is baby puke, but it just kind of has that uh, consistency of someone's chucked up their chocolate milkshake or something. Well, I'm stumped. I suppose I can give it a burn test. Burn P6 not found. What? Or some kind of a joke? Got the network installed. Apt install burn. Hmm. Interesting. I can't find the uh, burning test suite that I'd normally use. Hey Pianov, yeah, I should be working on something with Open Board View, I know, but I'm not. I'm too busy clearing out my junk room. Let's see if Firefox runs. That's a good enough burn test. Fan heat sink clean and it may be good. Well, that's the trouble is that it's only running at 45 degrees, so I don't get it. If it was from idle sitting at 60 degrees plus, then yeah, I agree, definitely. CPU burn is the package I want. Ah. Apt install CPU burn. 
unable to locate package CV bound. Do I even have networking? I do. Let's see if my router is alive, which it should be, since I'm streaming. I have no idea why I couldn't find that package. Hopefully they haven't dropped it. Oh, if I looked back, you moved the laptop and it looked like it lost power from the first boot. Okay, thanks. So maybe I could have a glitchy connection there or there could be something going on. Hey, CryoJ2000. Nice to see you here. Nice to see you made it. There is no package CPU burn. Bastards. Well, I reckon it's in 1704. It's in they stopped the CPU burn at uh, burn P6. I would have thought they'd come up with something for the more modern CPUs by now. I don't know why I can't find that CPU burn package. It's supposed to be there, but I can't find it. Alright. It's YouTube. I blame YouTube for all that's wrong in the world. Oh well, fair enough. Gotta find someone. Some people blame God. You can blame YouTube. Why not? Yeah, PNF, I don't know. I'm looking for CPU burn and, uh, According to this, it should be in 1704 as CPU burn. So maybe I've simply. Um, oh, just hang on there a second. Yep, food delivery. Awesome. I mean, tell me I'm wrong, but I should be able to just go apt install CPU burn. And it cannot locate that package. It's almost like I'm missing the universe packages or something. Let me try on I'm just gonna <coughs> try on the uh, main one. Yeah, I'm not getting it on my on my encoder machine either. Alright. You guys want to find it for me? <laughs> oh well. Like I said, it's running Firefox, so it's also not that. So let's see if we can get it to misbehave by wiggling it. Ah. Well, there we go. And it's probably because it's got a really crappy power connector. Yeah. <sighs> Don't you dare go off into the... Yeah, this power connector seen better days. It's, um... Rip, 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 point to it. Anyway, it's probably not too visible, but it's been chewed out on the inside there. I don't still imagine, though, that that would be the cause of this laptop being in the workshop. Oops. Uh. And if it is, I'll be 
a little upset with myself because that would be something I should normally check. I was going to say, I've lost my mouse, and then I realised I've got the wrong mouse. It's in community on Arch Linux. Should be on Universe and Ubuntu. That's what I was thinking. Maybe I haven't put... Maybe I haven't activated the Universe on both of them. Mm. Damn, these smoothies are good. Okay, let's see if we glitch it again. Nope, that crashed and burned again, so we've got a... You know what we've got here? We've got a bad power connector. Alright. Some fun, finally. I was starting to think I was just going to be a boring-ass um, live stream for the whole weekend for you guys over there in the United States. By the way, what's, um, what is the long holiday weekend for? Marvel or DC? <laughs> oh man. I gotta admit, I don't know if it's just me, but uh, I am starting to get a little weary of these superhero movies. I'll be curious to see how Spider Man, the new one, goes. Um, though I'm a little bit biased because one of my friends is the editor for it. So I'm kind of hoping for. Uh, for her own success there. There we go. Let's do the million, <coughs> million screws. I'm missing a screw down here. I'm missing a screw here. Uh, I wonder if I've got a case of broken hinges. then it doesn't feel like it when I open it up. Memorial Day is to celebrate our veterans who died in combat. Oh, okay. Right. That's a bit like we have um, in April, well, it varies. Uh, April 25th here, we have Anzac Day, which is the same thing. And then, of course, we do have the uh, whole 11th of the 11th of the 11th days uh, sort of thing. It's not a public holiday for us though, it's just everybody stops what they're doing on 11-11. Let's see what else we've got. Oh, that one here. Previously I was using magnets, and I was pretty happy with using the magnets, but after a while I found I preferred to come back to just a nice big tray like this. And once everything is in there, if I am not going to be reassembling the machine in a hurry, I will drop a couple of magnets in there just to bring everything together. Okay, that's looking good. <sighs> Pity you can't bung a flip switch on your keyboard and jump from using the main one. Yeah, yeah that, um, that would be a nice thing. They do use uh, unique IDs, obviously, and I'm not sure... I'd imagine it's programmed into the 2.4 gigahertz chips that they've got in there. Not, not something I'd really bother putting the effort into. What I should get is a uh, slide-out slide out keyboard. That'll well, sort of solve that problem. Hey Amy, 
nice to see you. You're making excellent attendance to all these live streams, no matter what sort of timing I do them at. Cry Joe says, yes, we are working today. I'm sitting in my office watching... <laughs> yeah, that's working. Yeah. And finishing up those laptops from last week. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, it was a normal working day here in Australia, obviously. And I got my laptop screen, that touch combo one. I got that ordered. And I also sent off my RMAs. So hopefully I will probably be a week or two before I hear back from them to say that they've confirmed or denied them. I'm a little mad with myself about how many I let overshoot past 12 months. And maybe if I'm really lucky they'll be kind to me, but I can't imagine why they would want to be. And I certainly wouldn't consider them to be under any obligation to be for the ones that I left overshooting beyond 12 months. Yeah, if they said to me, no, nah, sorry. And I was like, okay, fair enough. i try. Maybe if I'm lucky, as, um, as was said the other night, they'll let me refurbish them or something. It always gets me that little switch. Ah, oh, that's right, and the speaker one under there. Oh wow. Oh, that's impressive. They've got metal brackets over the top of the plastic. So then why don't I have... That's weird. It's just like there weren't screws in there, nothing else. It's There wasn't any hinge damage or anything. You gotta love it when you don't know the history on a laptop. What language do you speak in Canada? Canadian. Yeah. I thought it was French and English, of course. A bit of a bit of water damage there, or is it just? Uh, there's a little tiny bit of corrosion there. And so we've got this connector playing up apparently. All right. Let's lift this up. Get it out and see what's going on. Now what can often happen is the connector can be fine but then the solder joins on these can be broken or weak. I gotta say the inside of the connector looks like it's seen better days, much better days. So those connections feel quite solid. All right. I'll have to have a look at this under the, the... Maybe some of that baby puke got through, but then they've got metal shields on the back of these things, yeah. So that's not what's, that's not what happened. Mysteries. Hey Leslie, nice to see you. All the way from Scotland. Seems like I've almost got the full um, Great Britain set here, at least for now. I'll tell you, who came up with the whole name thing? I mean, you've like got Great Britain, England, um, what are all the different terms? Great Britain, England, UK, I'll tell you what, it's all confusing for us convicts down here in Australia. I genuinely have no idea if my heritage is convict related or not. I'd sooner believe that I've got like, Spanish heritage in me or something. It's not something I've ever thought about. Take the screws out, Mr. Daniels. Take the screws out. Though for the last name of Daniels, one wonders if I'm not uh, American related. Frankly, 
<laughs> That's terrible. Uh, see, so pair of Saw a similar laptop not long ago. Power jack was fine, but the hinges destroyed. Yeah, well, this is um, the opposite. Like I said, the hinges are actually in superb condition. So, you know, I'll show you guys. You can see that they're nice, got nice metal um, bracing there, preventing random pullouts. Yeah, there you go. That's yeah, a nice, yeah, it's how they should be at the very least. I mean, it would be better if they went all the way through to the other side with a lock nut or something on the outside of the plastic chassis, but that's a big improvement over the usual trash. Hey, fixing things? How's things over there in um, Western Australia? I hear you guys are proposing to succeed from the uh, current Australia and call yourselves uh, West, what are you guys thinking? West Australia or something like that? Yeah, saw that in the news. Need to take one of those DNA tests. Now, I wonder how accurate they are, or whether they just sort of click random on the computer and spit out something. United Kingdom, or the nutters on the island. <laughs> Ray, hello. Would you still be persona non grata, or is that fallen by the wayside? Yeah, I would say maybe these days it's fallen to the wayside. It's been 17 years. I thought you Aussies called it the old dart. Now, what were we calling the old dart? What do you think? If you're, <coughs> if you're referring to the England or the British, whatever, just call them the Poms. Those bloody Poms. Alright, let's have a check of that uh, power connector and see what's going on in there. Wondering if I've got a spare around somewhere. Everything else looks pretty good. Yeah. I'm guessing. Yes, maybe some of that baby puke got in here. The question is, could I put this in the ultrasonic and have it clean up, or just get a new one? I mean, they're, what, $3 or something like that. Let's see if this can show up. Uh, f f f focus you f fack. No, I'm not going to do a... Come on, it had it there for a second. There we go. Yeah, you can see all that scum in there. The thing that worries me is if it's corroding then it may have weakened the metal tongues in there and after a while it's just going to break anyway. The old dart is England, right. In that case, yeah, we just refer to them as the Poms. I can quite enjoy the British TV. Enjoy the goodies. Goody goody yum yum. Dun, 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 dun. Yep. I'm sure there are other shows that mattered. I uh, remember The Good Life. There's something down here. Oh, it's, just, it's one of those marginal type. Yeah, there's definitely a bit of green. Yeah, it's probably not going to show up on the camera because that's just normal. So we get this light over here. I'll be glad when I get the microscope. But on this side over here, there's a bit of off colouring going on there. So I'll have to clean that up. Poms hate being called Poms, I've heard. Quite possibly, but, well, they've never come over here and told me to stop. Uh. 
let's see what we've got. All humans are related. DNA don't matter. We are all family. Well, that is true. I agree. We all came... Well, I suppose it depends on what... What theory you personally subscribe to. I'm pretty content with the fact that we all came from the same primeval soup. And we're all at some point star matter. And we'll go back to being star matter. Or black hole matter. Take your pick. Well, that's beautifully clean. There's a little bit of dust up on the fan, but... Really, I'm very surprised. I should have checked to see what I3 it was. Um, anyone want to check for me? What I'm doing this, this is... The model is... PSK1FA... 00V00N. There you go. I'll put it up on camera. And it's way out of. No, come on. Blimenek. I think I'm going to switch to a manual focus on this. Because it's like it's got some sort of algorithm that looks for human type things like fingers and hands. Oh well. I'm gonna type it instead. Something just fell out. What are you? PSK one FA P S K one F A zero zero V zero zero N zero zero V zero zero N. There we go. Someone can go find out what sort of I three this is. Alright. I'm just gonna finish my smoothie and then I'm gonna check in one of my boxes over there and see if I can find a power flex. Remind me not to buy a C9... Well, I do like the 922, but um, I don't know what's up with the focus. Of course, there is the problem whereby it might be damaged because I dropped it a few times. Ah, the spaghetti monster. Pastafarianism. It's as good as any other, if you ask me. Okay, things are getting a bit precarious back here. Not taking care of my workshop. It will in turn thank me by making me trip over something. feeling I don't have one in stock and the worst thing is that I ordered from the store that has them today and I didn't have any in. If I checked this earlier I would have been able to get an order in. Oh well, that happens. Mm. I was going to check in the workshop, there may be an old similar laptop I can take it from.
sad to say, unfortunately, no, I do not have a spare anywhere. Oh, wait, what are you? Let me get you an Asus. What have we got here? Ah, you sold it on, you're no good. And you're not even the right. That was happening to you anyway. Oh god, you've got a... Uh, these are the bad days of them trying to make upgradable laptops or something. Where you'd have these MXM video cards. No wonder this thing's been thrown into the trash heap. It's got a hell of a bend in it. And it's got the MXM video card. So no good at all. Just blame my car. <laughs> uh, oh, God, it's a 370. Yeah, pretty much not much use at all. This can go to 8 gig of RAM. Yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do with the R3 370. Alright, well, I'll have to order one of those replacements. In the meantime, I might as well partially reassemble it and then put it into its little holding box with a note on it this time saying it pretty much works. Just get yourself a power flex. And my god, why can't I? What have I done here? This is upside down. Oh, who cares? Just put it back in. Upside down. Come on, stop getting caught under there. and say this is starting to tick me off. I don't... What's the time? Two o'clock in the morning. It's forgivable. Thank fire truck. Anyone else want a table flip just now? It just took way too long. Oh, you got to be shh. Sit. Stay. Okay. Plug this in so that the there isn't any accidental pin damage. Right. Is that top deck? This is going to be like the laptops that I get from other workshops. Alright, you... Okay. Okay. Well, that job's done, no more laptops. Actually, we've got one more laptop. Oh, you're talking about yours. Okay. Alright, this next one that I've got has been bugging me for quite some time. Let's see, C CPU seems fine. Does see the USB stick for single flash. Sense and checks USB removed. This one's an ugly one.
This is an ASUS X501. It's in pretty good nick, but um, it basically just doesn't power up. Not properly. Okay, I don't believe I need anything here. I'll just reacquaint myself with what's going wrong. Let me get our USB stick. For these sort of jobs, I like to use a USB stick that has a LED built into it, so you can tell when it's been accessed. So you've got the CMOS battery there, a power connector here, and I'm going to have to work out that was obviously. Some laptops are like a bad game of Tetris. Yeah, some real hair pullers. Usually the Toshivas are fairly good. Obviously the Hewlett Packards are an absolute nightmare. That goes without saying. I am going to need this board view. And like a moron, I didn't indicate what the board view file was. So I'm going to have to now find it. This is, this is an X401 mainboard, revision 2. <laughs> Let's see if we can do the uh, switch over here. Good god, man. Sorry, wrong buttons. Okay, sorry about that. I forgot to put the um, when I created the new open broadcaster scene. I forgot to put the audio in. So I guess now I'm going to have to sit around and wait for this to finish copying all these board files. I don't even know if I've got open board view on here. I do not have open board view on here. That's a crack up.
and you won't want to explain that one to me. I'm copying in the other window, the one that you can see running around, and I'm trying to do exactly the same now to the same place, and it's decided to not let me. Yeah, it's a moderately large archive there, fair enough. But you know where I've picked them up from. Oh, I know why that didn't work. I'm on that machine. Idiot. That could have been embarrassing. Could have wiped out my whole machine. Sorry about that, Luom. Yeah, this 1080 down converted to phone size probably isn't going to be very readable. Okay, the archive's done. Copying. Where are you? Okay, that's that. Oh my goodness, how much stuff do I have in development? package it's copying there. Maybe I should just cancel that and just ask for open board view. What? Ah, oh, it worked. But I know what's not going to work. It's going to want the uh, ASUS FZ decoding file. This is what happens when it gets late at night. Okay, oh, did it actually copy it in there? Guess we'll find out. Heard a 
of sliding. Not sure what that is. System loading, I don't know. That just crash. I can't believe it. Bits of that command language remind me of DOS. Well, yeah. Yeah, there. Well, DOS was sort of, yeah, all came along together like that. Ah, oh, I didn't do that really, did I? Thank you, Pernov. What? Oh, that's why. Because it's already created. Okay, let's try that again. Much better. Why does that look nothing? Uh, yeah, actually, it does look like the thing. There's a big cutout here. Dun, dun, dun. All right, now the whole reason I was doing this was so that I could. I'm guessing this is it here. Let me have a look. I'm just trying to find out how I can turn this on without having to plug the damn thing in. J6603, that's it. Okay. That is not an on off switch thing. Where is it? Oh my god, no, I'm an idiot. Well, I still need the board view anyway for the next project, but I'll show you in a jiffy why I'm an idiot just after I confirm it. Uh, where is my top deck? Yep, I'm an idiot. Okay, switching over so you can have a look. Uh, PNOV in the FZ files, there is no outline, that's what the problem is. There's no data in the file for it, it's just a case that we're, they, at the very best, they give us the four points for the square outline, and then that's it. So it's nothing nice like the um, MacBooks. Believe me, you have done more than your fair share on those file decoding, and you've done everything really good. And you did it in C++, instead of my crappy C. But I really want to get that binary PCB specification sorted out. I'm at the point where I'm, have to, I'm going to start offering a bounty on it. I want it done. Hi hi, 217, congratulations. You are the winner of two internet points. You are correct. The button is on the board. Right there. If I had checked on my top deck, I would have seen that. 
Boop. I will say I'm not a fan of these. I've said it the other night. I'm not a fan of these integrated units. I mean, look at all these. They're all plastic nipples that have been squished down. Uh, I mean, at least you can get them from Alibaba, but oh, it's a nightmare. I am going to need... I'm going to disconnect... No, keep the fan. I was going to say, I'm going to disconnect the fan, but then I thought, no, it might be a good indicator. I need some memory. At least I seem to recall I need memory. <laughs> that was a really bad joke. Uh, what does this one take? Yeah, it would be DDR3, of course, which is fine. Except I, for the life of me, cannot find my... Ah, oh, found it. My box of sodium threes. What do you got? I'm going to assume this probably takes... 1.5 volt? Yeah, it does. So what? Okay, four gigabyte. That seems intact. There we go. I'm going smooth brain. Damn right you are, Amy. I am. I completely agree. <laughs> yeah, it's interesting. Hi, hi, two one seven. These are the uh, five oh one laptop, but the main board's four oh one. Obviously, it's just whatever they've decided to do for the day. So, flip this back over. Power in. I don't seem to get any LED indicators, but that could only be while it's got uh, a charge requirement, like if you've got a battery attached. Make sure I am plugged in, of course. Yeah, I'm plugged in. Alright, time to get the multimeter out and see what's going on. And I can hear a bunch of people going, yay, finally! We've got Drabara in channel. Belgium Online, what's for dinner? A SUS X501, X401. Okay, let's see if we've got some power floating around here, and I can already spot some sort of corrosion or whatnot there, but I don't think that's probably going to be the main issue. Let's see. Let's check with the voltage. Yeah, about 19 volts there. 19 volts there. Actually, getting some sort of okay. Oh, now we have to start thinking. Chase, see where this nineteen volts goes. Ground, ground, ground. What? Where the hell's my connector? Well, this is the nice thing about, and I'm being sarcastic here, about the PC laptops with the board views and everything, is there's a profound amount of uh, discontinuity or inconsistency between 
the various versions. So you can get something that you think is a 401A version 2 and yet when you're looking at it they don't really match up properly. Uh, I'm going gloves off at this point because it's getting hot and this machine is clean and I'm not yet doing any soldering. I need to find a 401 schematic now. Actually, there's no schematic. <laughs> Anyone? No of a uh, ASUS X401 Revision 2, uh, XA401A Revision 2 schematic anywhere? I don't even have one printed by the looks of it, so that doesn't bode well. Um, ZX 8401, yeah, it's just not switching on at this point. I'm just trying to see if I can find... Ew, I've got a repair guide. Oh, how disgusting. Yeah, Pianov, I've noticed that, yeah... I have a feeling I purchased a repair guide for this at some point. Yeah. Pianov, you're just telling me everything I don't want to hear that I already suspected I knew. Surely I must have at some point picked up something. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, um, I knew I could smell something burning up. That was the CPU. That is hot. I was about to make a comment earlier that something smelt hot, and I thought it was just my imagination flashing back to the hot glue days. So the CPU is definitely on the run. Hmm. Remove the CMOS battery. Yeah, I tried that in the past, I think, to get the BIOS to reset and force it into... But I'll try it again. F fine, it's a X401A Vision 2. The laptop itself is a 501, but the board itself is a X401 Revision 2. That really got hot. I probably killed the CPU now. <laughs> Maybe the CPU is dead. If it wasn't before, it is now. It's interesting the fan didn't come up at all. Which does worry me a little bit. Maybe I've got a BIOS not coming up or something. Check V core first. Yeah. Good run, Pianov. Where am I going to find V-Core? Oh, it'll be on one of these. I may as well try that, actually. I know, I should check for PPG3 hot. 
and then 3v42. I do prefer working on those MacBooks. Let's just poke around and see what we can find. Zip. 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 Okay, we've got 5 volts there, which is definitely not V-Core. Straight over here. Yeah, I know, I tried that before. One of these big coils has to be for V-Core. Main board is known at bad caps. Yeah, there's an A after the 401 by the way too, Amy. Oh, we've got a fan spin. That's it, we're fixed. Fan spin! <laughs> oh god, if only it was that easy. Now I don't know if it's actually doing anything. I need one of those little 10 inch or even 12 inch um, screens so I can plug into them. Um, dum -dum -dum. I do have VGA output here. I'm just going to let this run. Yeah, ship it, yeah. <laughs> I'm just looking for my VGA cable out of this computer screen. And I won't find it because it doesn't have one plugged into it. Alright, that's okay. Ugh. There's still the HDMI out of the laptop. And everybody goes bye bye. I'll laugh if this comes up. I have a feeling it won't. Well, it is responding to the power off um, drowning event and power on, so there's some sort of intelligence going on in there. It doesn't look like it's generating anything on the output though. I might have to okay. it's gonna plug my screen back in so I can see what ow, uh, see what everyone's saying. Okay. It's dead, Jim. Yep, pretty much. Pretty sure the throttling is a software thing, so if the CPU doesn't run properly, it won't work. Would one of those USB displays work? No. As you said, not in this state. CPU will take down clock completely until temperature is comfortable for it. Yeah, it was interesting that uh, after we pulled the BIOS, it did come back. As I said, the machine is quite clean. There is really no visible uh, water damage or anything that I can see. Sorry, I don't have the uh, microscope camera. 
as much as I would. Actually, I might just I'll move it down from up here. Let's see if we can have any luck. Not really. Hmm. How about here? Nope, you can see me. That's the last thing you want to see. Still not great. I'm sorry about that. Sad to say, you're not going to really see any details. And worst of all, you don't get to see the multimeter now. Maybe remove the CMOS battery in case CMOS is corrupt and otherwise oh, resetting settings. Uh, well, if someone can find me a schematic, that'd be a good start. I'm just going to try and fire it up again, see if the bars flashes at all. I just realized I've got a, I've got a USB 2 on the power here. That may come up better than the USB 3, which is this one. Now I'm getting nothing. Well, whatever it is, it's fickle. See if I got five volts on that USB. Nope. 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 Yep. Okay, so there's five volts going into there. This is a real pain not having a microscope. So hopefully those RMAs will give me what I want. I'm just going to have to bring this down and blind everybody. Oh, for God's sake. can't even see you properly. This is about a 3 by magnification lamp. Okay. Ow. Is there a tamper switch that prevents it from coming on without being in the case? Not that I've experienced with these sort of boards before. Um, it'd be nice if it was such a thing. But no. Let's try to disconnect this. That's just USB. Actually, that came out rather easy. In which case, let's try put it back in again. Lock it down. So, I mean, it's not even spinning up again. Great. 
All right. Since I don't have a microscope, one of the tricks I can try. Everything's still getting hot though. And oh gee. I hope it's not my fridge chipset. I have a feeling it's this. Let's have a look at that. ZX, do you want to try post that again as a full URL? Now that you can. Hmm. I can smell flux on this. I'm just disappointed that I can't remember why. Obviously, I did something. Well, we've got. 1.1. 1 .1. Oh, and we've got a fan spin. Something's really intermittent here. So, guesses. Crack ball somewhere. Should throw the whole thing into a reflow oven. That should work. I'm not exactly sure when that fan started to spin up either. That's a nuisance. Let's see what else we've got. So we've got. Oh, I've lost that voltage now. There was. Oh, there we go. 1.1. Right, you're hiding in there. See if I can blow something up. You're not coming up. 1 volt. 5 volt. 1.5. 1.8. Looks like it's trying to run. 3.17. That's weird. It should be 3.3. But 3.17, 3.16, that's a little low. Or a little high, depending on what you're expecting there. So what have we got here? This one, I'll have a look at the board view on that. Betty Crocker, easy bake reflow, damn right. Hey, Firefan. You just just join in, I take it. Okay. So look at the board view for this. Let's try this again. Three. I've got the orientation right. Nope, that's not that. Oh, here we go. So that should be a 3.0 volt, so I've got 3.1 something, but that's charging, so that's probably why it's running high, because there's no battery. Just watch you read Lenovo S100. Can it be that internal connector is loose, because the screen is not broken, there's also no backlight? Uh, it's possible, but I did pull that out and push it back in slightly and it seemed very firm to me. I'll have another shot at it tomorrow probably just to double check because it's still here the person won't be back for another week or two. Uh, I'm going to Check around, see what we got. So we've got 1.13 on. Does it 
let's see. Slot fast. Oh, I'm not even going to try that now. Does it just look to me, or is the electro on right at your side of the board? on your left side under the MOSFET bulge. Yeah, they can look a bit like that. It's just the nature of the um, these service mount canned electrolytes. Some of them are like that, some are... But I do agree, they d definitely do have a bulgy look. Now, some of them even look like they're slightly popping out. But they seem okay. I don't... Well, I don't normally encounter them... Um, being faulty, not like the normal ones that you usually pull out of main boards and power supplies, but you are right, they do have a bulgy look about them. I'm just so like the one that is here isn't so bad, but ah, oh, for God's sake, I can't even use my own software. I think it's this one here has a bulgy look there. Yeah. Fine wrench, can't find it, sorry bud. Seem to have most part Yeah. Yeah, it's I'm not so I'm fairly sure I've checked through before and I think I ended up going with the X five fifty C just as a general reference. But it ended up not really giving me much. Right, that touch here. So what I've been doing is okay, this coil's missing. This one here, what do you do? Yeah, your V core, that's what I thought. And you should be according to that one point three volts, and I'm pretty sure that's what I was measuring. Nope, I've got one point one three. Hmm. Schematic would be awfully useful around about now. And I'm reading 3 volts on this, which would be about right. Vinifix threads, bulb, uh, Yo, I've got the board view, Amy, obviously. Um, what's this? Elvicom. Actually, I am a member of Elvicom. But I don't think I've got enough credits. This site, come on, oh, this bullshit DNS. Okay, the next one I'm checking is this here. Okay, that's interesting. I am not getting a graphics core. If I'm measuring it now, and I get nothing. So I'm not getting VGFX for some reason. So the question is, has it been told to turn on? Or what? According to that, I should... Oh, man. Okay, so it's been fed by these two MOSFETs here. VCRO is adjusted by the CPU itself, so it's around 1.1. It means the CPU work. Yeah, slow it down. I was also wondering if you could put a normal screen on an Acer E5 571 so no touch because their screens are not cheap. No, that's right, but they are only a HD resolution. The I'm just going to put my f fat face on the screen here. I should have done that before. Oh, for flip sake. I'm still getting used to these things. I'm sorry. There we go. Uh, I mean, yeah, the screens are expensive. I did order one. They were 150 Australian dollars here, uh, which was a bit more than what I had anticipated. And that was my fault. When I evaluated the machine, I didn't uh, notice that it was a touch one. That, yeah, entirely my fault there. So could you put a normal screen on there? It's possible. I didn't try it because I know there are a few times where if you plug, even if it's they're both LVDS 30 pin connectors, there can be times where you plug in say a non-touch or whatever uh, even though it fits but all the PAL lines and whatnot could be different and I really wasn't in the mood to fry the laptop 
or the screen for that matter. Turn off. If graphics core does not come up, it means the BIOS doesn't run or post is failing. Yeah, I'm not surprised about that. I did have a screen plugged in, but it didn't work. Let me. I'll see if I'll go grab my 17 inch one. Like I said, I should get one of those little, uh, little 10 or 12 inches and it'll fit nicely under here. And my chair is slowly sinking down, and we're back. Yes, it's quite likely it's going to be a rabbit hole pin off, I strongly suspect that. But I guess it's a bit of entertainment, considering that our normal entertainers are not here. They're all off having joyous little holidays somewhere. Okay, analog input. And I've got nothing coming out, but then that could be just a case of uh, it needed to it needs to boot with the screen to pick it up. But I would, I'm going to say 95% likely that this is the rabbit hole. It's interesting that it's inconsistent with its turning on and off though. ITM2 says you should be able to fix with a normal screen, but E5571, some come with an in plane switching high definition screen. Oh, okay. Thank you for that. That is actually good information to know. Not sure that would work without the internal screen. Yeah, it'd be interesting to see. Oh, thanks, Crowder. I'll download that and have a look. Oh, for God's sake. Let's do it the proper way. Oh, here we go. Well, I guess the first thing we can check is... Let's see, let me just... First thing I should do is save this. And that's not working because it's the wrong keyboard. I should at least paint this one different. Asus X401. Okay. I see. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Whoops. Yeah, DDR2. Definitely way old. Oh, well. That's definitely not right. Not a problem. No, look, I understand, believe me. I dare say at some point I would have been looking for it as well and come up dry. And then I would have deferred to trying to find something comparatively close or with a similar uh, chipset on it. 
All right, so we're back to the case of we have no graphics vCore and we've got nothing coming up here uh, but I will I am going to take Pirnov's suggestion and try it back in the chassis and see how we go so we'll switch back to main oh awesome I'll just yank the power out, no one's going to care. Certainly everything is getting hot. So it's sort of like everything is up and running, trying to get going. But given that I pulled the CMOS out, then I would be anticipating it to be trying to tell me, can I please have the settings reset? Not sure if it's a good idea, but in those cases, bad caps would flash the bars. Yeah, hell no. I'm not doing that. It seems to be... It's like the favourite Please Bro solution or something. There is a... I left a message in there somewhere. With uh, all those chaps. And I said, what is the obsession with all the... sorry, I'm just trying to get my orientation here. So what is the obsession with all the BIOS files? I mean, you guys really think that this happens so often that you're all going to magically fix it with BIOS files? I'm like, yeah, it works. It's like, yeah... It's probably going to fall under the category of re-hot CPU. Or re hot GPU, whatever. I mean, I can understand it. We all want an easy fix for a lot of these things. Hey, I might put speakers in. That might it might be beeping at me for all I know. Okay, it's fine. Let's go power in. Pianov, if this comes up, I'll be most upset with you. <laughs> <laughs> Fan spin. So far, I've got no flash over on the screen. Uh, It really is like it's not initializing the GPU or something. Well, what what phase does it usually do the flash over? Well, I agree, yeah. I mean, BIOS corruptions do happen, but not as frequently as what those guys seem to be living their lives on. I think I've had... I think I've had two BIOS corruption situations. One of them was pointless in the end because what it was was a lightning strike. And so, and me. So yeah, the BIOS was corrupted, and I rewrote that BIOS. But the rest of the machine was completely fucked. Oh, here we go. We've got some LEDs here. We might be able to get a status reading. Do I get? Uh, you know, that's going to be a pain in the ass because I'm on the board's upside down from where I was measuring it, which means I'm going to have to use open board view to find out where my other v-core is. I'm just going to see what the LEDs are doing. Except it's completely meaningless on this. What have we got? All it's saying is numlock is on. Interesting. Nope. Numlock's on and power... But no battery and nothing else. Interesting that it's showing Numlock. Probably have some caps under the CPU. For, yeah, most likely. Well, I guess all we have to do is I click on vCore and go on the other side of the board. Here we go. 
Ah, uh, the software is actually useful. What do we got? I'm trying to get a reference, so straight down. How far? Can't be that far. Dear God, man, I can't s see this one here. I think is just there. Okay, let's give it a shot. We're running. Oh, so I won't be surprised if this is a rabbit hole. Not one pit. And it's the bottom one. I do not have vCore according to that. I barely got one millivolt. I'll find another place just in case. Seems like these caps here are also V core, uh, graphics core rather. Wrong way around, I'm not doing diode measurements. Oops. Zip. Zip. Nothing. No, definitely not getting a pen off. Another RAM stick. Yeah, I suppose so. It's worth a shot. It's worth a shot double checking all these things in case you've done something really dumb. I certainly do not um, mock anyone who does that. I'm not getting any speaker output either. Oh well. So if I'm disgustingly lucky, it could be something like the vehicle MOSFETs, no good, but I really doubt that. That would be one of those, that was just too easy type solutions. Graphics V core, sorry Pianov. The CPU V core is coming up. I wasn't appropriately uh, expressing myself. That's good, that's good. I'd love to know what's going on with regards to this in oh there we go. That's up. And I really don't want to start hacking into the electronics too much without at least trying, as you said, all these different possibilities, like more bad RAM. I'll try this one next, and if it's not that then it's definitely not a RAM issue. At least not a RAM module issue. Yeah. Re hot CPU to fix too right. <laughs> Alright, you guys The other thing is usually with RAM sometimes you get a uh, bit of 
bit of a squawking speaker. Not always, but sometimes. So it's consistently turning on now. It wasn't before. Yeah, this is definitely going to be a rabbit hole. Is there a tantrum cap around? You know, there probably could well be, Amy. Yeah, it's hard to say. I think there might be... I can see something under here. Well, this is definitely a tantrum there. Uh, that just, we don't care about that. I'm fairly sure these are the... Uh, the non-tantalum ones that look like tantalum ones. Okay, I'm gonna go looking back around at this V-core. So what have we got here? It's interesting, we've got... So what are you... Okay, these have got to be the main MOSFET switching uh, switching MOSFETs. So let's have a look at what's driving the gates. Ground, ground, ground. Okay. Oh, it's interesting. They've been driven together. Hmm. What about you? All right. Okay. So this is the high side drive, and this is the low side drive. Yeah, Pianov, who knows which one it's going to be. Uh, every other rail's coming up, and boom. Fan, oh, you found a link to buy it? No, yeah, really, I'm not going to bother. It, this strongly feels like a, this really strongly feels like a rabbit hole. I do have my suspicion it's probably I'm pretty sure that's Northbridge because everything else is working okay you know it is responding to the mouse but up to the power on off and yeah, I mean all the other rails are up so I'm just try to see it's just a pain in the ass that both these MOSFETs are underneath the heat sink I really don't want to have to pull that heat sink off, but I'm going to. Uh, what clock rate is they going to be talking on that uh, BIOS line? Because I don't know if my little portable oscilloscope is going to pick that up. Sorry, I didn't see the message earlier where you had mentioned it. Um, I'd be very surprised if it was the wireless, I mean, I'll remove it, but at this point, because it's just the graphics rail being held down, or not coming up, then, but, you know, why not? There you go, two seconds to try that. Uh, great, I've already unscrewed the heatsink though. What was I going to try? Well, that's what I wanted to check. Pin, pin, pin. Okay, where are you coming from? And what are you... Okay. Oh, it looks like I've left myself a note there in the past. 0.8 volt. Alright. Some sort of feed. Pin 55, which is the second one. And pin 53. Could be the PCH if the bias is not sending in data, then it's probably that. Yeah. 
I've got another one. I've got a dead PCH on that. So, yeah. Um, actually, the other one is a Toshiba. It's a really nice Toshiba. It's a 17 incher, and it's got the uh, SATA data rate. Will start out really nice for about 30 seconds, and then it takes a dive down to you know one meg, two megabyte a second. And unfortunately, it's a known PCH fault on that. So. If the fan keeps spinning, it does. It looks like it's BIOS or the MPMC. Okay. Yeah, the fan doesn't stop spinning. If the laptop comes in again, stick it in the bin. <laughs> uh, I was going to have a look at 53 and 55 to see if they're clocking anything or putting out anything at all. But then I just realized that there is no way for me to get a... No, that's not happening. I have to do it at the MOSFETs. Which means I'll have about five seconds before they burn up. Bugger. There we go. So how long do you reckon this CPU is going to last before it fries? bit of a shame because both these laptops that I've got, this uh, the 17 inch Toshiba and this one, they're nice machines when they're running. Common fault, maybe. <laughs> Very hot, <laughs> mostly. Alright, get you out of the way, I don't need you. Just trying to get my pins correct here. So we've got the bottom one, pin four. Keep behaving like it's tired when it's not. Okay. Oh man, this is not going to go well. I have a horrible feeling about this. Yep, yeah, seeing 5 volts on that. But I saw 5 volts on the gate. Maybe it's the coil. It's never the coil. Let's find out. No, it's not the coil. Hmm. Blow on it while it's on. Yeah. <laughs> Use your face as the heat sink. That's great. Yeah. Hey, TCRS. My God, man, what you sleep in or something? Well, it's interesting that there's 5 volts on that gate. Uh, hmm. This is where the schematic would be nice. It's trying to pull me in. I need to see if that's clocking. I mean, it's not to say that the problem isn't perhaps in this PU8000 chip. Uh, let's see, PU8000 Alt 1, 2, oh, we'll go full. It's not to say it's not this chip, because basically 50, which one did I just look at? I think it was 55, 53? Yeah. yeah, when I checked here, I was getting 5 volts out of 53. So PU8000 is a PWM controller, it's a buttload of other things too. It doesn't look like the... Yeah, it's, it's a fairly reasonably hefty chip and it looks like it's got a monster of a ground plane underneath it. 
Voltage measurements on the bars chip when you turn it on. Alright, give that a shot. Uh, first I'm going to find the bias voltage lines before I go anywhere. BIOS. Oh, there we go. What? Where are you? This is upside down. There we go. Oh, right, no wonder those connectors don't exist. Uh, this connector is gone and these are all gone. Alright, let's switch back to... There we go. Let's have a look what this bar should have. 3 volts serial peripheral interface. Hmm. Well, I'm going to assume 8. It would be fairly standard behaviour to have that sort of voltage in out. I'm just going to put my heatsink back on because, quite honestly, I don't want to. Actually, what I'll do. Sorry, Pernov, I'll check your stuff in a second. I'm just going to test those MOSFETs in diode mode. What distro are you using? Ugly desktop environment. Yeah, it's called Fluxbox. And I like it because it has nothing in it. It's barely even got a windowing interface. So, yep, it's ugly. But I like it. Well, I've pretty much got a short to ground on the MOSFET, but I, given that it's for vCore, uh, the graphics core, I'm expecting that. Oop, what's going on there? It's all over the place, actually. Shown 0.02 volts for that. Now, what about the other side? 0.02... Point five seven for the other one. Let's have a look out here. Point oh two. Point oh one. Let's see what the CPU V core is. Yeah, I mean CPU V core is much the same. So I consider that to be normal. I know when I first started trying to repair laptops, I got caught out by that. I'm sure plenty of people do. Where you think, oh my god, I found the fault, I've got a short on the V core line. Gate 0.5. That's interesting. Uh, no, it's not. No, that one should actually be higher. 0 0.72. 0 0.745. Hey, Paul, try reseeding the CPU and try that. Well, the CPU seems to be... Uh, I mean, why not? Give it a shot. It's definitely not the USB, no. No. I've tried running it without that, and it still has the same issue. Okay, now that's correct. I'm just going to check that it's a little tricky with these, but um, see if I can. Okay, I'm showing 23 volt. No, I'm not. Uh, 0.06. 0.5. Try the other way around. 4.2. Hmm. 
Hmm. You couldn't really be bad, could you? I'm tempted to take that coil off to see if um, I've got a short through the MOSFETs or whether it's going to be easier for me to just take the MOSFET off. <sighs> Biophone, is that a 17 inch Dell LCD background like mine? This? Yes, it is. Do you have the additional speakers? No, I do not. This is a no liquid damage machine, that is correct, Rave. It's no liquid damage. So, what do you reckon? Should I try to take the big coil or the MOSFET off? Or nothing? I could be being trolled here because I can't read the numbers on those MOSFETs they could be using a uh, they'd be very unusual if they're using a PN combination what they should be using is dual N channel MOSFETs and then the high side one just has a gate driver going to it Yeah, they are a pain when there's no obvious liquid damage. I mean, I had a MacBook Air in the other week, and that was that was really nice because on the top you couldn't see anything, but then I flipped it, took it out, flipped it over, and sure enough, on the clock circuit, uh, it was corroded away. So I got lucky. I don't know how the liquid got in there, to be honest, because it was only on the clock circuit, nothing else. Anyway, I cleaned it up, recreated the. Uh, tracks that have been etched away and away it went uh, this one needs the bin fix yeah I agree my question would be for acting funny it seems to happen on MacBooks or well, the controller screwed up yeah it could be either normally I mean seeing 5 volts on there um, I'm pretty sure that's the high side one I've forgotten already Oh no, they're the low side ones. Yeah. yeah. Fifty four people are watching on this board like chickens on an egg. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's a good uh, that's a good analogy there, Jabara. Fifty four, I didn't realise I had that many. Normally I only see about thirty, maybe forty people. Uh, let's get some hot air action going on here. Why not? I mean, it's not like... By the way, this is not a customer machine. This is a machine that was dyed, and um, the person just left it here. I got their data off for them. So there's no harm in me doing anything to this. Okay, let's go. Since this is a nice big fat whopper, I'm going to have to go for about, uh, well, 460 for sure. 470 actually. 470 and about 66, 72 I reckon. Where are my good tweezers? If I the enable signal controller, it will be low. No, it was, uh, oh, yeah. Go to sleep. No, 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 no. Rather bias, not post. It could be, but I want to check this anyway, Pern off. And at least there's plenty of room around this coil, so getting it off shouldn't be a big issue. I've definitely got the wrong tweezers for this. Just give me a second.
Let's see, what are you saying? Uh, 4.30 on mine with the little nozzle and half airflow. Hmm, okay. Uh, this is the 6mm. 4.30, but that may be only because you're in the Northern Hemisphere. I'll drop down 4.40 and 50%. How's that? Yeah, see, that's it. You know, you've got your quick station. That's like 120 litres per minute. This thing maxes out about 20 litres per minute. RJ, I'm going to murder this board, yeah. Oh. I like using these tweezers, they're um, nice easy gripping. Something's bubbling out of that MOSFET. Let's go for a lot. Obviously I need a lot more. I need everything. Half past three? Holy shit. It is too. This is where having one of those preheat um, boards is convenient on the bench top. Okay, we've got we've got transformation going on here. Well, I didn't kill everything, so I'm happy. <laughs> okay. I just realised I could put the zoom on the uh, webcam up a little bit. And I think that's about the limit of it. on the MOSFET side we've got a healthy uh, and on the CPU side of course we have effectively a short I should sorry on the graphics side
0.01 volts, so basically 10 millivolt, which is fine, and 0.519 on the MOSFET side. So, alright, okay, it was good to check. Did some searching. One person found a coil short to ground. That must be it. Yes. <laughs> what was that person's name? <laughs> Please don't say it. <laughs> the poor, the poor guy's probably regretting ever going to that course. I haven't got a, uh, I haven't got those nice coils for cleaning my tips for this particular iron, so I've got to use a wet sponge. But I've got no water here, so I have to go get water. Hi hi 217, I'll be back, I have to get stuff done, I actually probably won't come back before the end of the stream, yeah, most likely, I'm going to finish up any second now. Well, thanks for being here, hi hi, always appreciate you being around, I'm just basically going to solder this, oh, this, this poor little line is not going to know what hit it, um, I'm going to have to preheat or something. This is my delicate surface mount. Uh, not my whopping great big monster stuff. That should suffice. Rain and sea basically all our power rails are up except for the one for the graphics core so basically it's not posting no we don't know whether it's not posting because of graphics or it's not posting because of something else the bits are sort of swinging towards it being a PCH issue or something to that effect Ah, oh, for God's sake, come on. I'm an idiot. Let go. Let go, you super powerful tweezers. I don't know what I was thinking there. Sorry, folks. Three o'clock in the morning, what do you expect? Okay, that's down. Need one of them copper top cleaners just under two quid on the eBay. Yep, I agree, they do. I've got one for my 100 watt station, but I just don't have one for this one. That's, that's fine. Switch you off. Okay, you're cooling down. Great. Alright, uh, we're back to basically zero. Um, I'm going to put the heat sink back on. Alright, alright. Settle down. You can turn off. I'm going to put the heat sink back on. And then I'm going to check those bias voltages. Oh, 
obviously this heatsink is not, you know, it'll have to be uh, repasted. So, yes, most likely a rabbit hole, and unfortunately, unlike the MacBooks, I don't have any donors, I don't have the schematics, I do at least have the board view. So, best I can really do is just keep it in my pile of machines that don't work, but I may be able to take parts from in the future. Oops, sorry folks. Uh, let's try to find those BIOS voltages. I need my fan. I need my fan, otherwise this thing does cook up still. There goes the fan. Let's have a look. It's a pin one, it's three volts, pin four, is zero. Is that right? Pin four, yep. And pin eight. 3.17 Try another CPU. I don't think I have one of these ones. Lewis was just saying Intel HD 4000 graphics were dying on the forum. Really? That's pretty unusual. Okay, I'm just going to bring my zoom back. There we go. Quarter spin fan? No, we've got, we've got full, full spin here. So I'm just double checking my BIOS readings. So pin four should be ground. And pin seven and eight three. That's weird. Or is it? Oh no, yeah. Mm hmm Three Three. Is Lewis streaming at the moment? Oh, hey Patrick. Rossman just trolling. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I was going to say, it sounded pretty ludicrous to hear that. Been three. If Lewis is streaming, I'm dropping this stream. No, I'll just get. No, the bias voltages are all good. Alright. That's it. It's getting late. I need to pack it in. I'm just wasting time. I'm actually so tired that I am going to leave this here on the bench. Even though I've got a couple of jobs coming in in the morning. Oh, crikey. For some reason I was thinking it was the weekend. But it's not. It's Tuesday morning now. Right. Did I say this laptop had JTAG connector? Yeah, it probably does somewhere. But I was referring to the other one and I was being facetious. I don't know if it really does. So, Alright, that's it. I'm out of here. Sorry we couldn't solve this. At least we know the first laptop works, but we're just going to have to get a new power connector, so that was an easy one at least. And it's fixed, I suppose you could say. And, yeah, not sure when I'll be on next, but thank you everyone for watching, and uh, have a good one. Hopefully you guys can fix your own stuff too. Until next time, I'll see you later.